Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please XCOM 2. On the last episode, we didn't lose anybody. We have 169 supplies. Let me just double check some stuff. Did we get our fifth squad member? I thought so. Yes, we did. Lightning Strike. Units gain plus three mobility for the first two turns of battle while the squad remains concealed. Plus 25% experience gained from kills. I think this might be really important. Costs 125 supplies. Wasn't there something that we wanted to do that I could not do because of our oh I wanted to, to pick up a scientist which is probably more valuable although I have to admit the earlier you get that um, wet work the probably more valuable it is but I hear now that XCOM 2 is actually out uh, I've heard that the uh, strategy layer is what's tripping people up much more than the tactical layer so um, maybe we'll save our money we'll get some more supplies oh this was fast Seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. Alright, so that's our lose condition introduced. The, the Avatar Project. Avatar Location unknown. Here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. And they're about a quarter of the way there. Okay, training complete. Uh, I don't really want to view the soldier, like that doesn't interest me that much. Her hair is pretty dope though, I will admit. We just want to go back to Guerrilla Tactics School and uh, maybe get um, Ivan Pavlov trained. That's another Grenadier? I think the Grenadier is the most important early of the five of the four classes, I guess. There is a fifth class, we just haven't unlocked it yet, we need to get a little further into the game. What I was saying is that the... Um, I feel like the strategy layer is tougher than the tactical layer, so let's not waste supplies on things that could help our tactical layer, but will maybe be better served getting us more scientists so we can actually like research and get through the tree faster. Um, okay, we get a scientist, recover item from Advent Train. We'll definitely try to do it. We got a pretty good squad here. Someone even has a nickname now. Okay. We do have to take a squaddy. Which squatty do we want to take? A second Grenadier? I think that's goddamn genius. Also, their name is Squatty Ryan. That's perfect. If you've gotten to the level of Corporal, now... Ooh. Commander, additional customization options are now available for our newly promoted veteran soldiers. Right. Let's also apply some weapon abilities. Scope, increase aim by 5%. Hair trigger, 5% chance the soldier uh, will not lose an action. We will... I'm not sure if we're going to apply that here, but we'll see. Okay, props. What kind of helmets and hats you got? Hockey mask? Not necessary. I'm gonna put you... The hat's pretty cool. Oh my god, you can make Ethan from H3H3. Um, let's see here. I kind of like the idea of you being... The shooter from Jurassic Park. Give you like some aviators or something. Oh, this is too good. Okay. You know what? That That is good enough for now. Give you a little bit of armor color. Tell you what, you got to wear some hunter orange for sure because you're going to be skulking in the woods. You don't want to get caught unawares. We want like a, 
like a brown or something like that. That is beautiful. Okay. Once you get the corporal, you get uh, you get to look cool. That's your prize. Now you, um, we're gonna customize you. Gotta give you some kind of prop. As a specialist, I gotta give somebody the beanie. It's just too good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make you look like you're trying to rob a convenience store. Or alternatively, be a snowboard instructor. Nah, I think no bandana works better. Okay, so armor color. You're a specialist. I'm trying to be a little bit more subtle. I'll tell you what, we'll go like, you know, a little matrixy here. Oh, dude, it changes the color of the beanie. That's perfect. Bright orange, then. That's hideous. Okay, all of these are actually hideous. Um, I'm not really gonna go matrixy. Uh, sure, there you go. Some things. It looks ridiculous, but that's kind of the point. And then Corporal Zaitsev, who was going to be our ranger. You got to have some kind of some kind of prop here. You're just going to be running in there with your ponytail? I don't think so. Backwards ball cap is pretty badass. Bandana, recon hood. Oh, you don't have access to some of the other ones. Tell you what. You go full bandana, man. Bandana gives you plus 2 movement. Upper face prop. I don't know. Sure. You're going to be Getty Lee again. I just continually keep making Getty Lee. Acceptable. And then your armor? I don't really care. But I'm going to make you stand out here. I'll tell you what. I'll give you like a little yellow. And then I'll give you a little... little oh my god. It's hideous. There you go. It's just It looks okay now. Alright. As for uh, weapon loadouts, I kind of feel like maybe our... Uh, unit with the shotgun should try to get better aim so they can be a little bit further back and still have a better chance for that to work. That seems decent. And uh, as for a uh, hair trigger, 5% chance is not very much, but if we can get that 5% chance to work... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. If we can get that 5% chance to work on our sniper or sharpshooter, that might be the most effective choice for us. So I, I think that's a reasonable option. How about make items? Uh, do we have any new items to build? I don't think so. Nanoscale vest. All right, we've been waiting forever. Let's do this. Two grenadiers. You guys are cool. Uh, you know what? The flashbang actually is going to go on our rookie grenadier. Because I would rather have our better grenadier who can shred armor around uh, to shred. But apart from that, we're good to go. Sorry for the amount of uh, setup time there. I would be very disappointed if this mission was not a rousing success. We have a squad size of five. They're good soldiers for the stage in the game that we're at. Neutralize all enemy targets. Remnant disposal report from Advent Train. Operation The Driving Dance! I'm telling you, it's too much to be a coincidence. The people who make the like procedural generation of the names have... Fudge the algorithm to make it more likely to be a little bit easy to misinterpret. Okay, we got some stuff to hack right off the bat. We got concealment, I think. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Eight turns is very low, but we do start with concealment. So, uh, let's move to full cover behind this cactus. That's our sniper. David Ryan! That's a... Trying to be a super punch-out reference. Didn't really get the job done. Affirmative. This is going to be like... We're setting up the outer bounds of, of how far we're going to move. I do think maybe we throw our sniper up top. She's certainly not going to trigger a wave by moving up top, right? Okay, that's fine. Um, we can't hack on this turn. That's okay. I think we just overwatch everybody else. 
things will only get worse. Yeah, no, I'm aware th about the hacking thing. You think this is my first time playing XCOM 2? I'm on it. Got it covered. We're just waiting for some enemies to maybe walk into our field of view. Um, I think it is more sensible for us to try to take the upper approach as opposed to the lower approach. So, I guess we'll start with a move from our, our sharpshooter. What, what the heck is she seeing there? What is this? Is it an explosive barrel? This is new to me. Um, gonna take a big move. I think it's better to, like, stealthily make our way to the objective. Whenever possible. Shit, they're not gonna see us, though. It's better to stealthily make our way to the objective whenever possible, and then, um... Then we'll deal with the enemies on a case-by-case on a -case basis. If these enemies walk over here after I take all these yellow moves, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Uh, I think I'm also, I'm probably gonna pop the ambush next turn. I don't think there's much sense in, in waiting for the ideal kind of, like, ambush point. Uh, because we only have seven turns. So I think if we can take one turn and remove an enemy pod that could be, like, very disappointing for us, then this is a sensible choice. Um, you know what, why don't you just get behind here? If we can skirt around that security, why not? Those enemies are not moving, probably? Oh, they're moving for sure. I thought they'd just be a patrol up top. Yep, we have no vision. Okay. That's, that's not horrible, necessarily. Take a move. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. That's how you know shit's fucked when the trains start to go, man. I don't think we hack yet. I'm not <laughs> not confident enough in this unit. Let's go Keep take a peek. Location. We're just trying to get there. We've taken like we've taken a few of our turns. I'll, I'll admit that. Moving out. I just want to I want to keep units moving yellow or sorry moving blue instead of yellow, just in case we do end up you know having them walk into our field of view. They didn't spot us. Holy shit! Okay, they will spot us if we move here. So I think our best option is move all of our units, like, up against this wall, or at least to a point where they won't trigger the enemy. The downside to this is that we do have to make sure that they actually hit them, because if we don't hit them, all of our units are going to be out of cover. But I want to keep them close-ish to the objective so that they can actually get there uh, maybe one turn faster. You never know if that's going to make all the difference, right? So, uh, generally speaking... These are two strong-ish enemies. We do have a stun trooper there, so I think we just go on Overwatch. And then we use maybe our shittiest grenadier to shoot a grenade. So Roll Fizzle Beef is not our shittiest grenadier. You are our shittiest grenadier. And then you shoot the frag. Hopefully this doesn't trigger a second pod. This will also destroy their cover, and maybe they'll fall down. I didn't consider that too much. They didn't fall down. Alright, here's where it's gonna start popping off. We got four units we need to hit... We need to hit maybe like once each. <laughs> maybe twice each. Okay, this guy is done. That's really good. That's bad. That's good, okay. No complaints yet. Sweet. Promotion earned. Oh, there's... We just saw two more over on this direction. I'm very confused. XCOM! I might need some help. What the heck? Our grenadier fell off the roof! Our roof exploded! Uh, maybe there's like some gas in that train or something. My god! 
That was funny. Okay. At least it wasn't uh, Roll Fizzle Beef. It was our squatty. Yeah, yeah, we got eyes on the advent troops. Okay, yeah, sure, dude. At least you didn't fall off the roof. That automatically makes you not the worst uh, out of all of our uh, team members. So you do have a shot, but you only have the shot at the Stun Lancer, which is disappointing to me, but we'll take it. That's a huge miss. That 82% was supposed to be worth something, man. Uh, we do also have these guys hanging out in the sky over here. Okay, well, do you have... You can slash. You can slash the sectoid? Oh, that's so good, actually. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. David Ryan. Oh, no, wait. It was our specialist that fell down. Yeah, okay. That sucks. Um, we got no place really great to move you, so I'm going to move you over to here. Um, apparently you just move now. You don't, you don't, you're not, you know, bound by the laws of physics. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you're at risk of death. We have to, or at least would like to, kill the sectoid on this turn. How do you do it? This guy slashes it. Might leave him completely exposed by that other dude over there, though. How much, how much damage do you do on a slash? a 91% chance to do 8 to 10 damage. I say we just go for this first, and then this gives us the, the possibility of slashing this dude instead exists. Because my, my other option is grenade, shoot, and then see how it goes. And we do have four units left, but I don't think the flashbang is right. This guy doesn't have a grenade, so it would have to be a grenade from Roll Fizzle Beef. And don't blow up the objective by accident. So I think you, you try this... I still don't think this would kill you. I think we got to go a little further. Do you... What's your shot on the other guy? 53? So you probably end up taking that, but... You could always shoot a flashbang at the Advent Stun Lancer. This is a complicated one. I got to get like my pen and my paper out for this one. How much HP do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well... There's a 91% chance you die if this hits you. So I think we start with that, and then we can throw out all of our explosives against the Advent Stun Lancer. Please don't pop a second pod en route to this sectoid. Sweet. The real problem here is we are super flankable. So we have to kill the other unit. It's non-optional. Um, can we destroy the other unit's cover first? With a frag grenade. Yes. Apparently, he already had a flanking shot, which I probably should have considered. Yeah, that rock has exploded now. You got a 73% chance. Yeah? Our specialist is not in a good place right now. I guess he missed. <laughs> Let's flashbang these civilians. Um, okay, there's the miss that just came out. And now the flashbang. Uh, if possible, I'd really like to not shoot with our specialist ever again, because uh, kind of bugged the game out a little bit here. This guy's disoriented. I'm hoping that that means he's not just going to shoot our uh, ranger in the back here. Yo, big ups to our sniper and our uh, specialist for leaving our ranger out to dry here. You the best, man. Oh, he's on Overwatch. This is... Uh, this is every little boy's dream right here. So our sharpshooter should have a good chance to take the shot on this guy. I'm expecting there's more than two pods on this level. But uh, we should have a pretty good chance to, to kill this dude. Um, you know, do we take the shot from up here? Is this tree going to block our line of sight? I guess we'll find out. Not a good idea. We got very lucky to not eat it there. The whole reason I wanted to do this was to use lightning hands where we can shoot once for free. All right, that's pretty baller. I am pro that. She can still go on Overwatch too. Okay, you gotta get inside of this train. Stop the container from detonating. Do we dare take a second move? I don't think that's a good idea. I'm assuming we don't shoot the container. I'm assuming we just run up to it and you know, that, that problem solved, I guess. Nah, dude. That's that's not necessary. Rolling. 
Okay, that's, you know. He's trying. He's trying to be bound by, uh, by normalcy. I respect that. Alright, we're just gonna get ourselves close enough that we can do something on the next turn. Three turns until destroy. You know what? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the ballsy move. Moving. Very happy with this decision. Closing on target position now. Eyes on the target. Oh, we do have a, a pod, Avenger I think. Five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Yes. I will hack it with my gun and my sword. And my specialist, who is already 80% broken. Okay, so we can cut one of these enemies down, but we may just want to run back. Yo. Yeah, hack the chest, dog. Doesn't hurt to check. Doesn't hurt to check. <laughs> I like it. Um, well, on fail, no effect. That's awesome. Sure. Um, let's go for delaying the dark event. There's at least a chance. That's not going to make it. It was a pretty good hack, but it's not quite enough. All right, so a 91% chance of killing one of these units. But can we even get close enough to hit the other one? Oh, okay, yeah, you got the objective. Got something new. Menace one five. Status confirmed. Uh, okay, I just realized, actually, that this unit is dead. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. The reason that unit is dead is because, uh, I didn't realize, but, uh... That actually took an action. I thought that would just be like picking up the objective in a, in a normal XCOM mission. And maybe we'd be saved. But uh, no, no such luck. So, uh, our Ranger will be killed. Unless maybe we can get off the world's greatest hack on this thing. And I don't even know what that would what that would require. So, we will probably lose our Ranger here. Um, he deserves to be killed. I deserve for him to die. There's a 39% chance we could... Disorient enemies for two turns. Or a 20% chance gain complete immunity from the... Well, we don't need our specialist to get complete immunity. Go for it. Oh my god! It worked! They're gonna be disoriented for two turns. They're, he's got a chance, is all I'm saying here. Could still probably be panicked, but it could be worse. Holy shit, okay. Well, there, there is that. That's pretty sweet. So we're gonna get our sniper down there, because we're gonna go like all out assaults on these guys next turn. Basically because we have to. Uh, I think your other move should actually be to give this guy aid protocol. So that will give him uh, plus 20% defense, combined with a disorientation, might make him pretty tough to hit. Even though he's standing effectively still. So I think there, there may yet be a chance for for our ranger. Amazingly. All right. So we're we're pretty much in here. Good copy, moving on target. I'm imagining we're probably, you know, in in the market for a size zombie right here. We'll see. Disoriented. Got behind cover. Overwatch. Got behind cover. Takes a shot. I don't believe it. <laughs> I am amazed. So here's what I'm thinking now. Um, we probably launch a grenade at the sectoid to remove overwatch. And then we come in for a slash, if necessary, on whatever unit's still alive. So you got... You can't use, can't use lightning hands this turn, unfortunately. You've only got a shot at the stun lancer. Okay, so you take your shot at the stun lancer, probably. But keep in mind, the sectoid is on overwatch right now. So we gotta do something to, to, to get his overwatch gone. So we are going to take care of that and hopefully blow up a bunch of cover here at the same time with this grenade. That didn't look right. Okay, three damage. Cover's gone. Overwatch removed? Overwatch removed. Okay, so that unit can just get slashed. Now you've got an 82% with a 50% chance to crit. Alright, that was not how I would recommend taking that shot. Shot him through the armor-plated train, but on the bright side, you did crit him. Amazingly, he is not deceased. Uh, who do you kill? As much as I hate to admit it... Is this guy ever gonna have a shot? Is he... Okay. 
Specialist, this is your time, okay? You, you phasing fucking weirdo. This is your... Oh, he doesn't even have a shot. So David Ryan's got to move up. There's no Overwatch, so don't be scared, homie. I just don't like relying on a squatty whenever I can avoid it. Just kill him. Just kill him dead. Promotion? Promotion earned? Target neutralized. Looks like something over here. 91% chance to kill this dude. Slash him up, baby. I almost can't believe it. Target but it has been done. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. The only Status unit who got hurt was my uh specialist, and as far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't be hurt. I'm just happy that the game managed to get them back onto the airplane. That was weird. That's not two of the same dude. I know, it's easy to be uh, confused there. Ooh, okay, well that, I mean, it went okay. The, the ranger's cutting people up, man. The fact that he can one-shot sectoids is actually uh, extremely useful. It means that if we can follow the flowchart of killing all other enemies and then just doing a, a ranger slash on the sectoid, um, those pods should not be that much of a problem anymore. I think having two grenadiers really, really helped too. Bum, 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 bada, bum, bum, bum. I'm interested to see promotions here too. An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Just one? And it's the dude who got injured? Revival protocol. Send the gremlin to an ally to remove any negative mental status effects, disoriented, stunned, panicked, or unconscious. Unconscious. Haywire protocol. Uh, protocol. I don't know why I can't speak today. Uh, you may target robotic and mechanical enemies attempting to hack them and seize control. Seems cool, but this guy's gonna be full-on medic. We got a scientist. We got, uh... What is a, effectively a gene mod. We got two pieces of loot as well. We've found the advent stun Excellent lancer. Work, Commander. Your Dude, that was that was pretty important. The resistance movement across the globe. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Next episode, we should be getting our first uh, new weapons, which is awesome, and uh, hopefully not falling too far behind the Avatar project. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Lately.